Hello guys, Keyboard on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So it's finished, the St Andrews. Birmingham at City, nil. QPR, nil. No wins in four. We couldn't beat QPR at home. Um, I think the honeymoon period is well and truly over. No wins in four. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on to uh, the lineup. So the lineup we went with, we went with um, well, I think we made like two or three changes for this game. So we had Ruddy in between the sticks. We had Long and Sanderson as the two centre backs. Lee Buchanan was back for this game after um, picking up a set, um, picking up two yellow cards against Watford. Of course, he missed the game against Preston midweek. And then we had um, Cody Drama as the right back. The two in the middle. Um, Ivan Sunich was actually dropped for this game, so we had Christian Bielik and then had Bakuna as the two in the middle. Mayoshi played as the cam, Keshi Anderson on the left, Jay Stansfield played on the wing, and he started Scott Hogan up top. The first 10 minutes or so, I thought Blues looked a bit shaky to be fair. I mean, Sanderson was, um, Sanderson nearly cost us a goal. Um, we was, he, he was, he played a pass. Along the back when we was in danger. That was that could have been costly. We did that a couple of times in this game to be fair. But um yeah, I thought QPR should have took the lead early on in the game. I mean it was a header and um I think he, you know you should be putting that on target at least. But yeah, Birmingham City need to take the lead in the most craziest of circumstances. I mean one of their players like back heels it, it goes over the goalkeeper and it needed they needed goal line technology. That's how close it was. It was like that, that close to going into the back of the net. But one of their, one of their defenders just like acrobatically kick, um, clears it off the line. Nil nil at nil nil at the break. Of course, Keshi Anderson had, an, had an injury. Sorry. So he come off. Oliver Burke come on. Jay stands for a move to the left. Second half comes. Should be taking the lead. Scott Hogan missing well, missing another big opportunity. Another big up, big opportunity, and um, I thought Blues deserved to win this game. QPR did absolutely nothing. Yes, in the last last parts of the game, you know there was winning a lot of corners. Ruddy pulled off a really good save, one-handed save. I've been a, I've been criticising Ruddy in the last couple of games, but that was a big, big save. And as well, I thought he'd done well to you know just palm the ball onto the strikers. Um, strikers um, knees or fires whatever you, leg whatever you want to say and um, yeah it went out I don't know how that didn't go in by the way that like scuffle um, of course Dembele come on for this game as well for the, like the last 15 or so minutes didn't really have time to do anything I thought Christian Bielik by the way Christian Bielik's passing was dreadful I thought the only player that was actually half decent in this game was Jay Stansfield he was making things happen. He was making things happen a lot. He put a ball, He got past his man. Megsed him. In the first half, I think this, this happened as well. Megsed him. He cuts it back. Keshi Anderson. Why are you hesitating? Just take the shot. I don't know why he was hesitating. And I know we haven't lost the game. But in my opinion, this is two points dropped. Why is John Eustace starting Scott Hogan? I would have rather started Lukas Zukovic for this game. I know he might, he may be getting on a bit, but I mean, come on. Scott Hogan, it's like having 10 men on the pitch with Scott Hogan up front. Jay Stansfield, he should be starting up front. Oh, it's weird, isn't it? It's weird when he doesn't start up front, he doesn't score. Playing play him as a cam against Watford, didn't score. Playing him as a striker against Preston, he scores. Playing him, play him on the wing... Tonight against QPR, what happens? He doesn't score. I don't know what's happening to us. Especially tonight. There just, there just seems to be a lack of intensity within the team. Is that down to the manager? That's now no wins in four. I keep on saying no wins in four. We've got Norwich next Saturday. I don't, think we'll be, I don't think we'll beat Norwich. And don't forget, we've played early. So all the other teams in the championship still have to play. So we could be like mid-table before Sunday morning. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really disappointed, to be fair, with the result. Um, 
But same old blues, really. Same old blues. We get really, you know, this new, this new owner bounce has truly, well, and truly ending, hasn't it? Ended really, hasn't it? I know we had a game Tuesday night, and then we had to play on the Friday night. But come on, we should be doing better than this. Something is not right. Even when Den I know he's probably got like a slight injury, but even when Den Belay come on, he wasn't, he wasn't his best. Miyoshi as well. I mean, he tried. He tried to, you know, overdo things, didn't need to be fair. I mean, doing little back heels and that. Um, what else have I touched upon? I thought Sanderson, by the way. I know he's the captain. I know he's had a good start to the season, but I thought he was poor in this game, to be fair. I know we didn't concede, but, um, yeah, moving forward, Norwich away next Saturday. That's going to be difficult. Like I said, I can't see us getting anything from that game. Anyway, it's been Kimwatan TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get one. Just like, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching as always guys, keep right on.